On Thursdays this morning, Holly Willoughby made a funny error when introducing Craig Doyle. The 42-year-old host made a mistake when presenting the fashion segment, which caused everyone to start laughing. Can guys look nice in sandals? Holly said as she began to broadcast a segment on sandals. Yes, that's why Craig isn't here with me. He wants to demonstrate that they can. She then mispronounced he is backstage as he is backside. After the amusing incident, Holly and the fashion presenter Louise Rowe started laughing uncontrollably. Later, Craig stepped outside to demonstrate the sandals. I'm loving this, he said in jest. I also prepared my behind because that wax is hot. It happened right after Holly and Craig, who introduced the broadcast with a pretty cheeky innuendo, drove viewers into a frenzy. When they were seeing a slow-motion film of 52-year-old Craig's dog ecstatically welcoming him and leaping into his arms, the presenter was reduced to fits of laughter. His tail was wagging when Holly, 42, noticed it and commented, Oh that's sweet, look at the tail. I believe you would be wagging your tail if you had one. Craig said, My tail is wagging. He and Holly exchanged giggling glances, and Holly gave him a friendly slap on the chest. Holly said, Well there you go, it was a very happy dog, as Craig shook his finger in fake protest. That's an early shot from Holly, Craig said as the visibly upset presenter protested, I've said nothing. I'm not to fault. After gathering herself, Holly asked everyone to keep it clean and welcomed them to share tales about their dogs. Earlier, Amanda Holden refuted rumors that she and Holly are at odds. She wrote a long message and shared it to her Instagram feed. Amanda, 52, addressed rumors that Holly and she were competing with one another for various positions and that their rivalry had resurfaced as a result of the Philip Schofield infidelity story on this morning. Amanda stated, Sadly, intelligent and strong women have been pitted against one another for far too long when we should all be celebrated in our own right. Women are still supposed to remain silent, endure hardship in silence, and go on as usual. And we primarily do. According to a source cited by The Sun on Wednesday, Holly has questioned how Amanda's allowed to have become so influential. According to sources, Holly believes Amanda has too much clout in the business. This was demonstrated when Amanda told Simon Cowell that her buddy Alan Carr should take David Walliams' position as a judge on Britain's Got Talent before Bruno Onioli was hired, according to sources. When Amanda believed Philip, Holly's co-star, undermined her opportunity to take over Holly's role as presenter of This Morning in 2018, they got into a fight. The Britain's Got Talent contestant caused a stir this week when, in an Instagram video replicating Holly's comeback to this morning, she seemed to be making fun of it by asking, Are you okay? Right? Deep breath, Holly urged viewers as she appeared on the program for the first time since Schofield was fired for having an affair with a younger male colleague. First of all, how are you doing? So, I hope, in a similar angelic white costume from me plus M to Holly's from Rice, Amanda shared a video on Instagram with the caption, Hello, it's Tuesday. Are you alright? She also made another dig at Holly on the radio, just in case anyone missed the message. Co-host Jamie Theakston, 52, asked her how she was doing the day before the show when they were debating about performing it while hungover. When she returned home, she immediately climbed into bed with her dog and cat. At 8, I got out of bed, made the tea, and went back to bed. I did the thing where you have to convince yourself to go back to sleep after waking up at 2. Jamie interrupted a conversation with one of the guests and said, We're concerned about your well-being. I'm okay, folks, are you okay? Amanda retorted before laughing out. Amanda has always made it plain in the past she has no concerns with Holly, a spokesman for Amanda told Mail in Line. The footage we saw today was taken out of context. It seems very weird indeed sitting here without Phil, and I guess that you would have been feeling a lot as I have, Holly stated in the initial message, I feel shattered, upset, let down, concerned for the welfare of everyone affected by what has been happening, and I have many questions. All of us at this morning gave our love and support to someone who wasn't telling the truth and acted in such a way that they felt they had to leave IDV and their beloved careers. 
there's a lot there to take in. It's equally difficult to witness the toll it's had on their own mental health, she continued. I believe that our shared goal to heal for the sake of everyone's health and welfare is what connects us all today. I'm hoping that we may draw strength from one another as we embark on this new chapter and return to the cozy and magical world that the show provides for all of us.